Hi everybody, Kyle Lawson, MLive.com here at Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City, Iowa after Michigan State's 96-93 win um, over Iowa. Here are my three takeaways. Uh, takeaway number one, this has been about as close uh, to a bad loss uh, the Michigan State has had all year. Uh, trailed by eight in the second half. Um, trailed through most of the second portion of the second half until Kenny Goins hits a three down there. Uh, with about 2.02 left, about the un most unlikely guy on the floor to hit a three. Um, does it with 2.02 left. Um, and, and Michigan hits some free throws from there, gets lucky as, as Iowa misses uh, the half-court shot. Um, and they escape in a game in which um, I thought they played about their worst defense all year. Um, Iowa shot 55% uh, right up there with Ohio State as far as the worst of the year. And you know some stretches, you know, that second half they hit 10 to 12 at one point. Uh, we're getting pretty much anything they wanted. Uh, Michigan State playing poor transition defense, not closing out at times. Um, and, and that's something we haven't seen a whole lot this year. But, you know, Iowa's a good offensive team. They're 3-9 in the Big Ten, but um, gave Michigan State a lot of problems. Um, and, um, you know, I, it's the, the latest of quite a few kind of mid-level teams to give Michigan State problems and come close to that upset. Uh, but Michigan State avoids it today with a good last two minutes. Uh, takeaway number two, a lot of questions uh, about Cassius Winston, I think, today. Uh, he sat almost nine minutes um, in the second half, um, and that was when, I mean, I think they were up three when he went out, um, and they were down eight when Michigan State finally put him in. I mean, that was Ohio, Iowa's best stretch of the second half was when Cassius Winston was on the bench. Um, Tom Izzo was asked about it afterwards. He said, um, brought up a couple things. He said that, you know, they weren't playing well when Cassius took him out, when he took Cassius out, which... Doesn't really jive with, with what we saw out there, uh, but also uh, was, was critical of his defense and, and talked about his overall energy. His energy wasn't there. You know, and Winston, for his part, said he didn't feel like um, he, he agreed. He said the energy wasn't there and, and he needed that. So, um, kind of the latest in these, you know, extended benchings. Obviously, we had Nick Ward back at Rutgers. Um, you know, whether he's trying to send a message um, or, or what's the, try, what, um, what the situation here, it was. You know, an interesting tactic to sit him for that long almost cost him a game um, because when he comes back in, that's really when they kind of got it going. So um, we'll, we'll see how that plays out in the future. But didn't really get a, a super clear reason um, as to why that is, I think, at this point. And then takeaway number three, uh, this game ended five games in 12 days for Michigan State. That's its most condensed part of the um, season. Uh, three of those games were on the road, including the last two. And... It wasn't always the most difficult competition, but I think if you can escape a stretch five games in 12 days with a 5-0 and record, no matter who you're playing, if it's in conference play, um, I, I think that's something notable, and I think that's something um, that's good for Michigan State, obviously. Um, they, they seem to kind of get closer as it went on. I mean, they start with the game um, with a win over, over Wisconsin, pretty easy win. Um, have to come back from 13 down on the road in Maryland. Um, single digit win over Penn State and then you know these last two games at Indiana at Iowa kind of come down the road so you can see I, I think they're wearing down a little bit I think it got to them players don't like to admit that but I think um, there was some fatigue um, especially in the second half um, and I think it's good that this stretch is ending now because I think uh, you know the next one is what could have gotten them but instead they get the day off tomorrow they get two days to prep uh, and then they get Purdue top five showdown when we really find out um, if Michigan State can measure up with the best win Big Ten so until then, uh, check MLive.com slash Spartans for all your coverage. Thanks for watching.